Have you noticed a significant increase in your monthly expenses recently? You're not alone. Across the country, the cost of living has been steadily climbing, and the numbers are striking. The Consumer Price Index, a measure of the average change in prices over time of goods and services purchased by households, has shown an increase of 3.5% over the previous year. This surpasses the predicted 3%, signaling a steeper rise than experts had anticipated. What does this mean for the average American household? Well, it translates into real dollars and cents. Households are now spending $270 more per month on basic items compared to just a year ago. If we rewind a little further, the numbers are even more startling. Today, every American household is spending $1,037 more per month than they were three years ago. That's over $1,000 more every month on necessities, not luxuries. These aren't just numbers on a page. They represent a significant shift in our economy and have a real tangible impact on everyday life. They affect how much you spend on groceries, on rent or your mortgage, on utilities, and on transportation. They even influence how much you're able to save for the future, or whether you're able to save at all. And the repercussions are far-reaching. The rising cost of living has led to a surge in credit card usage with the average household balance now sitting at $11,000. Nationwide, credit card debt has reached a staggering $1.3 trillion. Many individuals are struggling to pay off their credit card balances, with an average annual percentage rate of 21%. So, what's causing this significant increase in the cost of living? Let's dive into the factors contributing to this financial pressure. Inflation, the silent wealth eroder, plays a significant role in the rise of living costs. It's a broad economic concept, but to simplify, inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is increasing. As inflation rises, every dollar you own buys a smaller percentage of a good or service. For instance, if inflation is at 3%, a pack of gum that costs $1 this year will cost $1.03 next year. This might not seem like a big deal when we're talking about chewing gum, but when it comes to larger expenses like groceries, utilities, and rent, these small percentage increases add up quickly. Let's take a closer look at how inflation impacts your everyday life. With the Consumer Price Index showing a 3.5% increase over the previous year, we see that this increase surpassed the predicted 3%. But what does that really mean for you? Well, American households are now spending $270 more per month on basic items compared to a year ago. That's over $1,000 more than three years ago. It's like your money is slowly but surely losing its value. And it's affecting more than just your grocery bill. Utilities, housing, healthcare, and even education costs are all on the rise. It's an invisible tax that we all pay, regardless of our income level. And as prices rise faster than incomes, the purchasing power of the dollar weakens, leading to a lower standard of living. But don't lose hope just yet. Inflation is a complex beast and it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways to combat its effects and maintain your financial health, which we'll explore in later scenes. Inflation is only one piece of the puzzle. Next, we'll look at another major contributor, excessive government spending. Government spending is a double-edged sword. While it can stimulate the economy, excessive spending can lead to inflation. Let's dive into how this concept has taken shape in recent times. The Biden administration, for instance, has been associated with a surge in inflation. It's a complex scenario, but the gist is this. More government spending can increase the demand for goods and services. Without a corresponding increase in supply, prices can rise. That's inflation in action. Now let's consider some numbers. The Consumer Price Index has shown a 3.5% increase over the previous year, exceeding the predicted 3%. This might seem like a small percentage, but it has a tangible impact on American households. They're now spending $270 more per month on basic items compared to a year ago, and a whopping $1,037 more than three years ago. This inflationary trend, attributed in part to government spending, has had a ripple effect on the nation's credit card debt. The average household balance is now $11,000, and the nationwide credit card debt has reached a staggering $1.3 trillion. But why the surge in credit card usage? Well, when the cost of living rises and wages don't keep pace, people often turn to credit to bridge the gap. But this is a short-term solution that can lead to long-term debt, especially considering the average annual percentage rate is around 21%. So, while government spending can play a crucial role in stimulating the economy, it's clear that excessive spending can have unintended consequences, affecting everything from the cost of your grocery bill 
to the nation's overall debt level. As we can see, the government's role in our financial stability is significant. But what can we do to protect ourselves from these rising costs? Facing higher costs can be daunting, but there are ways to manage and mitigate these financial pressures. It may seem overwhelming, but remember, you're not alone. Financial experts around the globe are guiding individuals just like you through these uncertain times. One strategy they suggest is balance transfers. This involves moving your high-interest credit card balance to a card with a lower interest rate, effectively reducing your debt over time. It's a simple tool that can have a significant impact on your financial well-being. Another approach is seeking assistance from credit card companies. Many of these institutions offer hardship programs that may include lower interest rates, waived fees, or extended payment plans. Reach out to them, discuss your situation, and explore your options. Apart from these measures, budgeting and financial planning play a crucial role. It's important to know where your money is going, and to make conscious decisions about your spending. Small changes in your daily habits can lead to substantial savings over time. It's crucial to stay informed and proactive in this economic climate. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to managing your finances.